fuck you right to the early morning yeah. <laughs> Pop 360 here and it appears and this is kind of obvious but to be honest guys it could be happening and it's it's quite possible so it appears that people might be able to emulate the xbox one and the ps4 on the pc in not too long now honestly this doesn't really come as a big surprise to me because the xbox one and the ps4 they both use um x86 based architecture they both use amd graphics and um cpus um, they just, they're pretty much computers in, um, small factor consoles. I've said this before, I'm saying it again. Um, the, the reason they couldn't do it with the PS3 and the Xbox 360, uh, are the following. Firstly, the PS3 had the cell processor. If you guys know anything about, um, PS3's development and all that crap, the cell processor was the biggest headache for developers. It was very, very powerful for its time, don't get me wrong, but the developers, it took them so long to get used to it. That's why... The PS3 really earned its side, you know, really having epic graphics um, for its age um, at the later time of its, you know, development, at the later time of its console life. So, yeah, the cell processor was a big bottleneck, not in, in like a like a weak way, but the way that developers just couldn't use it. And the 360 had like a triple, a three core processor. You don't really see them much at all, triple core processors. And just... To, um, it just that the, the architectures they used they were just so different to PCs that an emulator just it just wasn't very easy. Now, however, Xbox One and PS4 they both use x86 based architecture, AMD chips. Um, apparently, according to Kotaku, they won't be surprised if there's one within the next year or so, and that that's pretty good. Not to mention that you're gonna be, still be getting you can use a, a like hardware that. It's, it's pretty good, like, alright hardware to emulate it, because Xbox One and PS4, I said this before, and I'll say it again, they use PC-like hardware, so, you, you know, maybe you just need, like, a 7850 or 7870, and just, like, you know, 3570K or 8320, 6300, not something that's overly powerful, but something that's good enough, and you'll be able to emulate, you won't need, like, crazy hardware, like a 290X, Titan, 780 Ti, and, like, a... 4960x to um, emulate i doubt you will need that so yeah ps4 and xbox one um emulators they could be coming um whew. when they do happen oh man this could change the game because honestly at the moment pc they're missing a lot of big games or not a lot actually a few big games that i would rather like to see on the platform obviously um halo is honestly the biggest reason why i kind of regret moving the pc like i don't regret it but it's one of the things I miss on console. Halo is just... It's Halo. It's awesome. Every game Bungie has made in the Halo series and 343 has just been sick. And uh, Halo 5 coming out, man. Hopefully the emulator's out by then so I can just emulate that shit. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think about possible emulators. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.